Hello guys and welcome back to Star Drive with the Black Box and Combined Arms mod. So, in the last episode there were lots of uh, battles but they were all against the pirates. So, in that sense it was um, quite the sort of police action, uh, quite a bit of an admin episode really. Uh, now however, I want to try and balance out the fact that the United Federation has got a, it is a truly a federation in fact, of the Korathi and the Raleigh and is number one in military strength and population. It's knocked the Dauntless off the top spot and uh, is winning the war against the Dauntless. So it's my usual sort of um, tendency to just turtle up and be a bit boring. Um, I was uh, yeah always the one in Command and Conquer just sitting behind my uh, various pillboxes and what have you. But I think that would be a very silly thing to do here because the United Federation will then eventually conquer the Dauntless and I'll have a huge, huge problem. So, time to be aggressive and uh, we're going to declare war. And uh, yeah, they did trust me a lot. <laughs> That's the nature of this game. Uh, trust is uh, yeah easily... Um, Easily broken, and let's move straight to Lazuli with the um, first uh, sort of scout fleet, the seventh fleet. I was going to bring it back to Rathi, but uh, no, let's um, let's press on and um, bring the sixth fleet up here as well. We've got the second fleet, which is um, yeah, it's kind of coming together. Let's have a look. Do we have any more ships to build? No, we, so we can add some more in here. So frigates then. Let's go with some more of the uh, the long thorns. So two of them. I quite like my plasmas. So we'll go with two of those. And a little bit of... Um, yeah, just one more fleet support. So let's, let's get building those. Seventh fleet is... Uh, yeah, that's uh, all together. Um, I mean, I was tempted to... Um, you know, kind of from a perfectionist point of view, to upgrade all the frigates first before we went to war. But I think you know, time is time is moving on, and um, I do need to sort of uh, provide a distraction or dent their dent their ability to harm the Dauntless as much as they are doing. Who would have thought I would have come to the the rescue of the Dauntless? Eh? But there we go. Um. Right, so what's going on in this system? We've got lots of barren worlds. Uh, barren average. Barren average. Barren ultra poor. Oh my gosh, the the system of the barren planets. So let's bring the sixth fleet here. And we'll move on to Rebaldrix. And the seventh fleet can move on as well. Uh, the Dauntless have captured a world back. So that's uh, that's good. They're not uh, totally uh, out of it yet, and they shouldn't be. They've got a stronger military than me on paper. First fleet getting caught there on the uh, on the gravity well. So yeah, we'll bring the seventh fleet. What, so right, what are we looking at here? A barren average. Oh, and another barren average. Oh, do you know? I might I just I might just glass these. Um, oh yeah, this looks more promising. Swamp Ultra Poor. Oh yeah, yeah, I looked at this before. First Fleet and Seventh. Let's let's come up here instead. That's going to be uh, more rewarding. And um, what about troops? Uh, yeah, let's. Yeah, just in the um, the hope of uh, victory. Let's bring some troops. Um, yeah, let's put a put a there. Uh, one of our ships was boarded by the Draugr, even though I've hammered the Draugr. They're still still out there. Still a uh, little thorn in our side. So yeah, sixth fleet then. Well, let's just jump straight to uh, Lazuli 3. And uh, well, I'll, I'll, no, I'll bring it in a bit closer first, actually. Just so the fleet supply. Uh, right, so, oh yes, this is a very defended system. So, 7th fleet will we'll hit this 7th planet. Uh, what have they got? 
yeah, these sort of um, orbital batteries, which you get going down the ballistics line. Sixth Fleet has arrived. Let's, uh, yeah, bomb the planet. Uh, okay, United Federation has taken another world from the Dauntless. And, um... So, yeah, Seventh Fleet can, uh, Hit the defences whilst the Sixth Fleet shouldn't take too much to uh, wipe out this uh, this planet. Maybe an old Octoris world actually, because they haven't got a huge amount of population on there, but they do have quite a number of buildings. So uh, yeah, let's uh, now move on to Rebaldix One. I think. Are there any other occupied ones? No. So yeah. Uh, sixth Fleet, let's move. Uh, I'll just tell you to come a bit closer first. Seventh Fleet, are you engaged? Yes, we are. Yeah. Plasma and disruptor fire. Oh, yeah, this year we're seeing the mix of um, designs due to the Federation, which is uh, makes them more dangerous. Do need to be taking out these defensive platforms. Yeah, just an overwhelming weight to uh, fire there. Uh, okay, the Daunt the um, Draugr at Ockery. What are we looking at in terms of ground defences? Oh, we could probably invade, um, but there is a defensive battery. Um, hmm, I think if I kept my 7th fleet above the planet. We might just get enough troops down without having to bomb the planet. Let's uh, let's try. Could be a silly move. So sixth fleet is... Uh, you caught on a gravity well, are you? Yeah, okay, that's why they're moving so slowly. So hopefully the shields will hold up against the laser fire. It should do. And obviously we've got the fleet supply ships here, which uh, will help to repair. There goes, there's the troops. So, yeah, let's just hope that they continue to fire at the frigates, which can take the uh, punishment, and uh, don't hit the troop transports, which can't take the punishment. There's a little repair drone, so um, our supply ships are uh, getting involved. There's a constructor coming in here, uh, moving to deploy a heavy platform. Well, we can't allow that to happen. And we didn't. So, what? Uh, oh! No, abort, abort. I think it's been programmed to prioritise the troop transports then. Yeah, I think it's been coded to do that. Cheeky devs. Which I suppose it could be quite an exploit, couldn't it? Um, ooh, there's remnants here. Um, Sixth Fleet, do not get engaged with the remnants. Come to... Uh, come to Ridnia then. Not, not a huge remnant presence, but still. Oh, you got caught in the gravity belt here. Well, I'll tell you what, whilst you're passing, you may as well um, take out this little colony. We've now got battle shielding, which will help once I do my redesign. So, colonization then. Um, I think now we move on to... Yeah, automatic production to begin with, and then maybe soil enrichment after that. You need to get out of there. Mm, looks like we're going to lose that bomber. Oh, a little bit of a uh, ambush. We need to shoot this uh, troop transport. Or get out of there. 
get out of there completely, I suppose it's the better better move and come and help over here. So I should probably queue up some more troops as I uh, as I lost some with that little attempted raid. Let's queue some up there. Uh, yeah. So on bull then, I wanted to do things now. Um, I think um, the advice from Roland was to click Governor will not scrap buildings, and then I can build some biospheres. I'll just go with one initially, and oh, I've got oh, there we go. I was able to do it this time. So we'll, um, I ideally wanted a disruptor in place as well. Oh, there's, um, there's, uh, a meteorite. Passing through the system. This is a new feature added in by the modders, which is, uh, which is cool. Adds a bit more flavour, makes the galaxy feel, uh, more alive. And, um, yeah, we're still being peppered by the defences here, but I think the combination of our fleet supply and just having fairly decent shields should be, should mean we're okay. Sick fleet still on its way. So what I should, uh, what to do, what to do, um, what I want to do is I want to upgrade my frigates, but I don't want to do a mass um, upgrade because that will deplete my forces. Frigate then, uh, to deplete that fleet free support one as well. Frigate, uh, so yeah, it's the hailstone that I want to upgrade. So um, yeah, this, this is much, much, much better. Much better ship. Um, I'm just wondering whether we ditch the four reactors. Um, so if I do that, 11.95 weapon power time. So I do that and then get rid of that lot, but instead put in these chunky bad boys. Oh, infinite weapon power time now. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. Uh, Sublight speed 533. Three. Well, I would actually have room now for um, a small warp drive. Now, then that could be. No, it's okay. It's okay. It's up to 45. What about without it? 33. So, yeah. Maybe stick the warp, small warp drive in there, which will give us some more mobility. This is also Electro Armor, so if we upgrade this to um, the Solar Armor, along with all this stuff. And uh, then I go with Bionic Armor for that stuff, we're doing okay. Shield Power, ooh, now then this may put me into a bit of a deficit. Class 1 Battle Shields. No, still okay. And um, the shield strength is 11.3k. Yeah, this is a much better ship. Hmm. Now then, what if I were to get rid of these solar medium arc? Because I just think that the the bionic armor is. Oh, let's just um, go with one at a time. If I do that. Yeah, we've still got. Um, Still got enough power. I was just looking at the number down here. So relative strength, 10.68. If I add one of those on, uh, it does go up ever so slightly. Right, so it, it is a better thing. And um, it's also altering some other numbers. Sorry, guys, I just wanted to have a little look. So if I put this on, it is... Um, it's heavier, basically. So it's reducing the FTL speed. And reducing the turn rate ever so slightly, and the sublight speed. So yeah, but it is, for example, 49k hit points. It now goes up to 51. Um, it reduces the shield power because these electro um, armor actually help to boost shield. You can see 
So I, there's 500 shield amplification. So I think I will leave leave that like that. Um, Or do I want to change any of the weapons up? Not really. Um, no, no, we will we will leave that as the hailstorm mark one. And then yeah, I can't unfortunately order a refit of all of them. Because I'm currently at war, so it could be quite tedious doing that. I'll just do those two for the moment. So, Sixth Fleet, have you arrived? You have, so come and take out that defence battery, please. As quickly as possible. whether to tell him to go and refit, but uh, no. Oh, actually, Six Fleet stopped bombarding for the moment. That should have been enough, I would suspect. What are we faced with? We're faced with the military outpost and the planet's outpost, which, um, yeah, oh well, how many troops have we got? Four. Hmm. Let's just uh, chuck a few more bombs. Yeah, I may need to bring in some more fire support, but that will do for now. On um, tour, uh, still, still building. Okay, fine. Uh, the United Federation has captured Ithor One from the Dauntless. Okay. So, um, yeah, the, the potential front is pretty massive. Um, which, um, yeah, it's probably helping the United Federation, you know, more, more advantageous towards the attacker. Let's uh, bunch up our seventh fleet a bit more. What are we faced with here? This is a... Uh, of the carrier. Oh yeah, they've got uh, fast shields and rockets and yeah. Uh, okay, we got that corvette defense station on uh, bull. I probably need to design a, a decent little corvette actually. Oh, they've just launched a little uh, corvette themselves here when uh, that was taken out. Right, we've now got troops on the planet. Um, oh, I do think they may need another little help. Just, uh, yeah, just a couple of bombs. Just to give some fire support. There we go. Take out the military outpost. That will do. There we go. Fine. That should be, uh, that should be fine now. And then 7th Fleet, let's move towards Ridna 1. And, yeah, we captured it. Well, great. So, richness, not, not too bad fertility for what is an ice world. Let's turn this into a research world. And the Dauntless captured in row 1, and human forces are in the Ridna system, obviously. That's uh, not a surprise! So, uh, yeah, 7th Fleet keep uh, keep advancing. Oh, yeah, these are rally uh, fighters. Oh, gosh, we've, this, we've had a whole part of our fleet decide to do a bit of a drive-by shooting. Um, yeah, I do not know why. <laughs> Could you, could you come over here, because you're very exposed there. And of course we've had the uh, ever-present losses due to um, thieving. Right, so guys, now you're more collected together. Let's take out that station. Got the disruptor at bull. Taking down the platforms. Uh, 
so these home defense ones, what are they? They got sort of missiles on them. By the look of it. They will need more than that to stop uh, this fleet. What are we looking at? Oh, quite a lot of defenses, so we need to bring the sixth fleet up. Uh, no planetary shields again. So what I'll do, I'll just launch uh, one troop and see whether we can uh, sort of obliterate the defences here with uh, with the bombardment. How many troops are there? Not none. Okay. So then, yeah, Seventh Fleet, you may as well get involved in hitting these. Ridden a two of Swamp Rich. Yeah, very nice. Uh, I think that is enough, guys, for the moment. Let's, um... Oh, excuse me, my bad uh, clicking. Let's get some troops. Oh, this is, was quite a quite, uh, tough station. I wish I'd uh, zoomed in. To, uh, oh, there, this is another one. Maybe this is the same. Uh, yeah, so... Um, lots of missiles being launched. I uh, went with PD for the Dauntless, but I'm quite glad I uh, I did that. Yeah, they can't stand up to all that plasma fire. Just need to get our troops down here. Uh, guys, 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 come back. Let's just uh, let's just take it one planet at a time. You agro lunatics. And uh, we've captured Ridna 1. So 6th Fleet and 7th. Just just collect around here for the moment. Just richness 0.8, fertility awful. Um, I think another little research world actually. The United Federation and the Volfa are now at war. Ooh, hey. Very much um, everybody's piling on. Hopefully that sh those shots are a bit uh, long range too. So the Vulfa then um, are uh, yeah my friends my friends the Vulfa are coming to help out. How many troops do I have? Oh none. So we've built that ship. But we haven't actually got the um, haven't actually got um, more troops yet. Let me just go to the second fleet. I was thinking. That I could perhaps just whilst these are in view, could I, I control, click? Oh, uh, no, no, no. Bye bye. You're know, messing up my control clicking. So I control click and then I go um, retreat and resupply, scrap and uh, yeah. Okay, so I can't just can't just do that. So you've got to do this unfortunately either one or the whole lot by the look of it. The uh, United Federation captured Erisa 1 from the Dauntless and uh, again I've sort of scrolled in a bit too soon so gosh guys what is going on? Seventh Fleet come and take out this. Sixth Fleet just stay stay around there for a moment. Look at them the loons. So, 6th Fleet, written at 2 then. There is, a, there is a planetary shield here. The uh, bases have been reduced. Um, so yeah, written at 2. Does it have ground troops? No, but it does have a planetary shield. So we've got to reduce that uh, down. Doesn't have any. Don't think it's got any defensive batteries. It had a. Um, uh, yeah, it's not too bad. If, if my ground troops were better, actually, this would be quite a good one just to land troops on and not bombard the shield. But um, right, so seventh fleet, you're absolutely itching to come and take on this world, aren't you? How is my seventh fleet? I feel like we've lost some troops. Some, some troops. Some ships. Not too bad. But uh, Sixth Fleet, stay on station, keep bombarding. Shields below 200 now. 
But then, yes, seven. We need to get involved and start taking out these uh, these stations. In the meantime, on tour, we do actually have some additional troops now, so let's launch them, albeit only three. But we can bring them towards the front line. Quite a tough station, this one. But uh, it has eventually fallen. Yeah, let's focus on that. Another one of the same model. So anti-aircraft guns in the middle here. Loads of ordnance, and then these uh, sort of missile launchers. But uh, we'll just systematically strip the defences one by one. Huge amounts of point defence being fired. And then the inevitable green tide slamming into the defences. How are things going here? Oh, the oh gosh, guys! Um, God, you you turn your back for a second, and uh, the uh, the Armageddon really uh, takes its toll. Let's uh, get this little troop. As I think that uh, he might be able to capture it on his own. Oh, Ockery! Human forces at Ockery, overwhelming. Oh my gosh, Ockery is um, defended actually by the Second Fleet, so that sort of worked out well. Um, hmm. Do I react to bring my other fleets? What have we got? Fourth Fleet. What were you? Quite an old fleet now, the Fourth Fleet. Up here at all. I'll bring that down to Ockery. Although it'll take them a while. Bring them, may as well bring them down. The Fifth Fleet. You're also old. Gosh, I should have scrapped these fleets, actually. Maybe the humans will do it for me. So 4th and 5th come down, 6th and 7th carry on the offensive, 2nd fleet is already there, but I'm just going to... Oh, I should, probably shouldn't have done that. There we go, get involved in the fight. And um, let me just have a quick look at what the 7th is doing. The 7th is moving to attack the defences here, I'm okay with that. Ridna 6... Let's move the 6th Fleet to bombard that. Um, we've got our troops here moving to attack Ridna too. So let's um, let's see how the human's offensive goes. Uh, so far, they seem to be enjoying quite a bit of success. So we've got all these little drones. Oh, they are the, the, the wasp drones. Um... They're doing some damage. They've got the numbers. What's this? This is a Space Marine. Guys, I would like you all to take out this Space Marine if you can. Yes, well done. Oh, that is that is a good thing with drones, isn't it? Highly flexible force. Uh, in the meantime, our um, frigates are kind of kiting the enemy. I'm okay with that. That's what they were designed to do. The plasma and disruptor fire seems to be right. They've still got plenty of forces, though. What are these? These are big frigates with uh, loads of missiles, I think. Second fleet is hanging on. These are all little drones. What ones are you? You're the other wasp drone Mark 1. That's right. So, um, oh, human troops on Ockery. We're not going to do well against that. We are awful at uh, ground combat. Automatic production is researched, so that will help get things out of the production queues more swiftly. So planetary computing, I think, is where we go now, or soil enrichment, or megacities. Uh, let's go with soil enrichment. So they've got, yeah, these, oh, these frigates, yeah, what are they armed with then? They're armed with, uh, oh my gosh, these big guns, wow. And 
Unfortunately, the PD is uh, taking out our drones pretty successfully. Second fleet, yeah, sort of been uh, whittled down. What are these? These are the fleet support, which is why they're still still alive. Let's uh, bring them over to Ockery 3. So yeah, the human offensive has done very well, and I'm going to have to bring back the 7th fleet, I think. 6th fleet uh, has uh, has done its job at Widner 6, or well, not quite wiped it out, but um, Widner 2, uh, yeah, fine. Uh, Widner 5, let's send the 6th fleet to Widner 5, uh, though... What are the defences like? Yeah, okay, fine. Well, let's, um, I could do with some more troops. Let's uh, launch these three and move to Ridna 6 as quickly as possible. Let's have a look how the second fleet's getting on. So the battle is continuing to rage here. The little, um, Drones still using these drones. Maybe they just haven't upgraded the Wasp Mark ones. I thought I'd um... anyway. Uh, so we captured Ridna Two from the United uh, Federation. I will turn this one into an agricultural world. It's not amazing, but it'll it'll be okay. Um, so hang on. These uh... oh, they're still the old Wasp hives. That's why. Right, so yeah, still the old type. Uh, fourth and fifth fleets. Did you arrive and got wiped out? Yes, basically, that is exactly what happened. It's, uh, I think these older marks of ships, which just have uh, no point defence, are really suffering. Ockery. Uh, I think we managed to actually hold off the... Uh, the human troops. So, uh, the second fleet will be re yeah, okay, that's okay. Just wondering whether to stop the, seven, the second fleet from replenishing, but um, no, I will leave that for the moment. Ridna five, the shield is still up. Not for a much longer though, so I could do with some more troops. Uh, yeah, you guys. Let's uh, let's launch you. There's only two of them. Oops, my misclick. For two troops move to Ridna five. Ockery, Ockery. Oh, more money stolen from us. Uh, seventh fleet. Where are you? Uh, still very much in transit. Oh, not, not, not a hell of a long way away. Um, so, I suspect the humans have got the strength to take Ockery 1, but Ockery 3? I don't know, I've still got quite a number of defence batteries. I'm not going to take it with one fighter, that's for sure. So we captured Ridna 5, which... Oh, Richness 0. Gosh. What an awful, awful uh, world for production. So we'll go agriculture as well. And... Um, come on, 7th Fleet. Ridna... Oh, Ridna 6, actually. The battle still is going on. Uh, it was just for the outpost. Fine. The Ridna system was a very, um, very good one. Lots of useful worlds. So, 7th Fleet. Uh, yeah, I think we'll be okay if we just jump there. I won't uh, interfere because it'll stop their jump. Um, peace. The Dauntless and the United Federation are now at peace. So, I kind of obviously um, helped to adjust the United Federations, or maybe they were just happy with the sheer 
number of planets they conquered. Um, right, so we captured Ridna 6. Oh, that's a good industrial world. There we go. So we've got two um, agricultural ones, one industrial one. I'll need to really um, get some defences in the Ridna system. Let's uh, have a think for a moment about the second fleet then. Oh, hey, you're not... Uh, and I bet that's because I didn't put automatic requisition on, which is not a bad thing. Plasma stone, you... Oh, tell you what, I will use this opportunity to upgrade the plasma ships. Let's get rid of the old hailstone and uh, go with... An upgrade, so plasma stone. Uh, right, so power then. I sort of feel like I should do something similar and go with um, big antimatter. Then uh, engine. Go with the warp drive. We're up to 25k, still not that good. You're a slow, slow ship. Hmm. Uh, anyway, we'll go Battle Shield. And um, these are medium overdrives. What are these? Small combat thrusters. Uh, yeah. Power armor. Um, you're already using solar. So, do I want this lot to be bionic? You then are not powered out there, okay. So, um, what if I move you, you up? Uh, there we go. Design issues low power capacity, slow warp speed, power capacity, then uh, weapon power time. Is it ammunition capacity? That's not very good. Um, where should we put a power capacitor? Um, power cell, rather. Ordnance? What's ordnance? Yeah, so maybe like that. Excess power cells. Now there is no pleasing you. Excess power cells. No power capacity. Well, that will be okay. I'm a little bit concerned about the ammo time. But I don't immediately see what I can do to... Um, change that. Other than losing some weaponry, which I don't want to do. I think I need to keep both point defense turrets. I could put one in the middle here and then have more ammo, but no. What if I lose some of this power armor? Yeah, I'm still powered, so we don't need that. So I could go with maybe a thin belt of armor like that, and then um, some ordnance in here, which will help a little bit. It's very slow FTL. Hmm. Yeah, it's an upgrade. So, second fleet then, actually, is what I wanted to do. Uh, third fleet is gone. Fourth, yeah, I actually... Um, oh, can I load? Yes, load blank. There we go, lovely. Fifth, are you all dead? Not yet, but... Uh, anyway, so second... Uh, do you know what? It's going to be easier just to load a blank, I think, and then go frigate. I want uh, the hailstone mark ones. Yeah, sort of six like that, and then another another row of them. The plasma. Bit uh, bit messy there, Benjamin. I also want some fleet support, uh, yeah, sort of in like that. So let's uh, let's build them and uh, get on. Um,
So we're awaiting the Seventh Fleet. These, uh... Hmm. These are not standing up very well. They've only got 600 shields, these uh, little wasp hives. And they they got 7,000, so they should be around longer. Right, seventh fleet has arrived, so let's uh, let's move to take out these ones first before we go for the uh, the bulk of the enemy's fleet. survive for long. There we go. So they are yeah taken sort of from behind on the side, you know, properly flanked so they're, they're not gonna survive. The question is this uh, these are carriers by the look of them. So, 7th Fleet, what should we do? There's a number of ships that could do with rearming. So let's cluster you around Ocarie 3 for the moment. Little drones. And the Wasp Drone Mark 1s. Wasp Hive. I want to upgrade you to the Mark, uh, Mark II. Maybe not a sensible thing to do whilst uh, we're being attacked, but uh, hopefully the Seventh Fleet will have it uh, more under control now. Yeah, it's that, uh, it's that cannon fire from these ships. They are, um, they do a lot of damage. A lot of long-range damage, actually. Yeah, you can see them stripping away the armour there. So, guys, we need to... Yeah, took took him out, actually. I wondered what was um, doing the damage to my ships. And it's these, these bad boys here, yeah, this long-range artillery. Uh, I mean, ultimately, they've got no chance of withstanding this uh, tsunami of uh, disruptor fire. But... Um, Anyway, 7th Fleet, let's uh, move in. Uh, blah blah blah, spies. It's a shame this area is red because of the Vulfur, but it's okay, I'll live with it. Level 5. I should be queuing up some defences here, but I think let's just. Let things uh, settle down for the moment. Because we're having to build quite a few new ships. How's things going? The United Federation is still number one military strength wise. Despite the losses they've suffered in this little uh, offensive, though in fairness it's been quite expensive for me. Range artillery coming in. Can we? I mean, they've got seven thousand shields. We have got a slight advantage there. The plasma fire is. It does quite a lot of damage, but actually it's, you know, it's the disruptor fire that can penetrate the shields. Oh, there's a nice uh, bloom of plasma fire on the way. Yeah, there we go. OK, 
Okay, so there's one more. So, Ocarina 1 then. Um, could I... Can we go with some colony shielding, a disruptor emplacement, and a corvette? What? Yeah, it's a research world. Okay, well, I think now is the time. Let me just um, load the platform. So, um, let me delete the D2. Wasp Hive, the original one. Uh, yeah, these get rid of these older ones. Listening posts can stay. Uh, so D3, is there anything I can do to improve you? No, it's got the latest stuff on, actually. Apart from the shields, but, you know, fast shields or battle shields, they're pretty, pretty similar. Um, uh, let's go then with the... It's funny how it's still listed up here. Even though I've deleted it from... Anyway, it's not a big thing. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just in case they want to come back. And have another pop. One, two, three, four. And uh, let's improve... The defence is there and there. And whilst I'm at it... So I may as well just not uh, not too heavy for the moment. Just I think four maybe around each planet while the build up um, happens. Um, it's likely that these um, defense stations won't actually be built in the Ridden Ridden system. They'll they'll come from more established planets. I would suspect, but we'll see. So um, great. That's. Uh, that's that done. Guys, I will call this episode um, sort of to an end, you know, the Draugr getting back up to 13 bases. Gosh. Um, I'll call it to an end here, and um, yeah, in the next episode, we'll continue the conflict against the United Federation. Um, perhaps stay in it whilst the Vulfa stay in it. You'd think the Vulfa will um, take uh, Kitty <laughs> at least as surrounded. Um, call and yeah, maybe... Um, Yeah, maybe they'll help. Maybe. Uh, but I just think whilst they're still number one, well, I've got to keep um, keep pressurising them, building up my own forces. And uh, yeah, I will see you in the next one, guys. Thanks very much.